Now then, Lee, look at the situation regarding Manchester United. They say that um, fortune favours the brave. And fortune did not favour you, I thought, against QPR. Say, say that again, Mike. Fortune favours the brave what? Fortune favours the brave. And I thought they did not favour you. Fortune did not favour you against QPR. You got to take. You got to take what you can. Yeah. At this end of the business end of the season, Mike. I mean, let's not. Let's face it. That first goal shouldn't have stood. We know that. We can discuss it all day. But yes. Yeah. You you've got to take what you can. But Scholes is going the second half. He ran the show after that. Then he Paul Scholes. Yeah. No, I've no doubt about that. Were well, you not surprised today though that the the red card given to Sean Derry was not rescinded? It was such an obviously blatant mistake by the ref, and, and it gives everybody the feeling, Lee, gives everybody the feeling, well, it's Old Trafford, it's Manchester United. You don't go back on decisions that referees make there. That's not good for the game. See, I disagree, Mike. I, see, I yeah. think, it, had it been called offside, it wouldn't have happened anyway, that's fine. You know, yeah. the, first, the first decision was obvious. See, I'm still undecided as to whether or not there was a foul. If it's a foul, it's a penalty. If it's a penalty, and it's an obvious goal-scoring opportunity, mm. then he gets sent off. So... I mean, that's, I've watched it a million times and, and people have got different opinions. Whether yeah. he goes down easy or what, is it a foul? So in all fairness, no, it doesn't surprise me they've not rescinded it. They've no. got quite strict rules of what, what they do and why they do it. Yeah. So, well, well, I think one reason why they didn't rescind it was this. I think somebody should have made a bigger fuss that if you send a player off unjustly that early in the game, 15 minutes into the game, you're then condemning the other team to play at Old Trafford for 75 minutes, that's five-sixths of the whole game, with 10 men. Now, it's no good just saying, oh, sorry, we got it wrong, we'll rescind your card. What you've then got to do is you've got to make up for the fact that QPR were at such a disadvantage for the whole game. How do you do that? There's, no, there's nothing in the rule book that says you can do that now. What you should do is you should say to Manchester United, are you prepared to play this game again? No, mate, come on. I mean, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Well, you know, you in all fairness, that was. If you look at that, then Wigan should have won one 0 at Chelsea, shouldn't they? There's been there's decisions all the way through at the season. Yeah. I'm not saying they level each other out, but there's decisions. Human error is part of what is is what is there at the moment. Yeah. Even at the, the, and what can you do? I mean, Rio Ferdinand gave away a penalty earlier in the year for tackling someone. Yeah. So and that was Newcastle. So yeah, we yeah. got them points. Yeah, but I, my, my my argument is this: it was such a huge advantage to Manchester United on a decision which was wrong, even though the FA won't admit it was wrong. Now, I think that what should happen is after a decision like this, when the when the instance looked at afterwards, each team should then be awarded one point. Now you're going to say, "Hang on, how can you take the the three points of United?" Well, it might teach players not to throw themselves to the ground unnecessarily Mike. in future, because that's what I think Ashley Young did. I can't be having this, Mike. That right. Did the referee make a bad decision? Did the referee make a bad decision? Yeah, one? I think he did, yeah. Yeah, but you only think he did because it's his opinion on the pitch. Do you think Ashley Young was yeah. fouled? Was yeah. he fouled? Uh, I, d I don't think Ashley Young was fouled, no. You don't know, do you? Because the referee's got the best view of it. If, he, if the referee's given a foul, yeah. and that's what we're paying to do. No, 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 we've got the best view. We've got the best you view, can't mate. Blame we blame him for the mistake that was made. Hang, by the assistant. Hang on, we, we've got the best view from 20 camera angles, which the referee doesn't know. Which... And you just said yourself, you're not sure. This is all Oh, no, I am opinion. sure. I'm sure. You, you were telling me that it was my opinion, but I'm telling you, I'm sure that was no foul. And, and Ashley Young, I think, went down too easily. Listen, Lee, don't go anywhere, mate, but I've got a, a, a QPR fan who's called in as well, who wants to speak to us on this one. His name's Clive, and he's coming up on the Skype wall now. Hiya, Clive. Hello, Clive. Yeah, there's Clive there. Right, hello, Clive. Hello, mate. How's it going? Going very well indeed. Now, we've got Lee on the other line. He's a Man United fan, right? I've just put to him the revolutionary thought that if a uh, team had denied a, whole, a man for a, almost the whole of the game, 75 minutes out of 90 minutes, right, that game should be replayed again. It's no good rescinding the card. I know the card wasn't rescinded anyway, but it should have been. And I think it wasn't rescinded because they would then have to examine how QPR could be paid back for the imposition of only a 10-man team for most of the game. Yeah, sorry, Mike. One trip to that hellhole is enough for me in a season. I wouldn't want to go back. And we, we wouldn't have won the game anyway, but it was an absolute shambles the way it came about. And everybody, anyone who says that's a foul is just completely deluded. Absolutely. Well, well, just, it's an absolute joke. Yeah, go, go on, Lee. Go on, Lee. I can't hear a thing. I can't hear him. Oh, all right. I'm sorry, Mike. I'll come back to you in one second. So, so Clive, what I'm saying is it's all very well for you to say you're going to go back to that hellhole. But this happened <laughs> earlier in the season when Jack Rodwell was sent off. 
um, for uh, Everton against Liverpool. And again, it was only after 15 minutes. And then there's a complete misbalance in the game. And, and yeah. you know, QPR could, could go down as a result of having not been given the opportunity to at least get a draw at Old Trafford. You must be concerned about that. I, I, I couldn't agree more, but we just the refereeing this season seems to be worse than it's it's ever been to me. We seem to be so scared because a couple of Arsenal players got their legs broken a couple of years ago that we're just whopping out red cards for anything at all. Yeah, uh, you know, and I t- the refereeing throughout the game, not only with the penalty at the weekend, the refereeing was absolutely astounding. I, it, yeah. Apart from when I've been at Old Trafford, I've never seen anything like it before. But it's the same every time you go there; you get used to it after a bit. Yeah. Okay. So, Lee, what you you said a bit earlier on? Oh, well, don't worry; these things uh, even themselves out over a season, but they don't, do they? You do get no. I said, they, I said they don't even themselves out. But if QPR get down, it's not because they lost a the man at Old Trafford. It's because it's because over the thirty-eight games. Yeah. They haven't done well enough to stay in the league. It ain't one decision, mate, that's sent them down. Yeah, but I, I mean, the way they set up it, negative anyway. Yeah, but everybody, not... everybody says that, but we all know that there's a there's a crunch part of the season, the last six or seven games, and all these clubs are battling to, to, to get out of the relegation zone. And a decision like that, I think, is so unjust. Would you not be prepared to concede in any way that United... You know, got away with murder at Old Trafford. Oh, no, I think United were on the receiving end of a decision from the line from the assistant that was wrong. Yeah. Fact, you can see yeah. it. I still say now that the referee had to make a decision. Was yeah. it a foul? Yeah. And I, looking at it, I'm not sure. Stay ahead of the game with Sports Tonight Live. Don't miss a thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search for Sports Tonight Live on Facebook and like our fan page. Follow Sports Tonight TV on Twitter and tweet us your thoughts and opinions. Sports Tonight Live, it's the platform for the fans.